Hello everyone, this is Lamar, the owner of Appliance Professionals, Oldham County's premier and only appliance repair company. Now I do service surrounding areas, but my primary focus and target is my great neighbors in Oldham County. Uh, we're actually based out of Crestwood and um, we try our best to get to people as soon as possible and provide great outstanding service. All right, so today we're going to talk about home warranty. Uh, my first podcast, I uh, made a commitment to kind of dig a little deeper in this. And just to kind of set the uh, landscape. So the, what I'm talking about is the warranty you buy where you pay a monthly fee in exchange or you pay it all up front i mean you pay monthly fee or you pay the total you know warranty cost up front in exchange for um a contract that says in its basic form when your appliance or whatever system is covered in your home i'm specifically talking appliances but whatever system in your home has a problem then you call us or you, I'm sorry, you call the warranty company. They will dispatch a technician out there. Usually you have a service call fee associated with that. So, you know, 75, 65, some cases 45, you know, up to, I've seen 125. Uh, you're going to pay that person when they come out or you're going to pay the uh, warranty company and then they'll take care of all that in the background. And then everything after that is covered by them, you know. So it's kind of a way to leverage, okay, I have a contract, you know, I got a set cost I have to pay when somebody comes out. If there's repairs that need to be done or potential replacement, then all that's on the uh, home warranty company I have contracted with. So that's the basic thought behind a home warranty, okay? Now, primarily in our market, um, the Oldham County and surrounding areas, uh, there's a few companies uh, that I see most of the times, and every company on this list I have worked for at one time. So I'm not just telling you theory. I've been in there processing claims, doing jobs for them, and I know their processes very well. So primarily in our market, uh, we have uh, Old Republic, American Home Shield, 210, First American, Select, Rely, which recently branded, they were previously called Choice, uh, Liberty Home Guard, and Sears. So those are the main ones uh, that service our area. And so if you do have a home warranty, there's a high probability you have it with one of those, okay? In my opinion, there's a line in the sand. And, and that line in the sand says, these companies over here provide tremendous value, okay? They stand behind their business model. Um, they're going to do what's in your best interest. And there's the other side. These companies here, you better run. If, if, if you paid money and you can get any of it back, get it back and put it into one of these other companies. Another way to say it is there are certain companies that are high growth, high value stocks, and there's others that are, that are duds. You're going to put in 100 and you may get $5 back. Okay? I'm not here to call a company out. I'm just here to tell you who's doing it right and why they're doing it right and what you need to be on the lookout for and, and how you should approach a home warranty. So my top three warranty companies in our market, which I believe are looking out um, for your best interest and will do a great job for you and you'll be very happy with them. Uh, my top recommendation is Old Republic. Old Republic has been around a while, and what I've noticed is they're all about taking care of the people who have contracts with them. 
So their message to us as technicians is, hey, do what you can to take care of this person as soon as possible with the highest level of service. You don't have to call us and ask us. You know, if it's, if it's under this amount, get the parts, put it on, we'll take care of you as a technician. But make sure that, you know, the person who has a contract, um, their machine's working in the, in the quickest and most efficient manner possible. You know, and that allows us to just run out and do what we have to do. I don't have to sit there and worry like, oh, man, oh, this guy needs a gasket on his fridge. It's going to be $100, and oh, they're, they're going to sit on it for a week before they figure out he's going to be losing food, you know. That's the kind of companies you want to be associated with. Uh, second one is American Home Shield. And I just believe that they're a, uh, they're a real big company. They have great processes. Uh, they also focus on uh, doing what's best to take care of the contract holder. And the third one I would I would put in that in that group for our market is uh, First American. Um, I really believe they try their best uh, to do what's in the best interest of the contract holder. And I'm relatively confident that if you got if you had a contract with one of these three, um, you're going to be taken care of. You're going to be taken care of. Those are the ones that I call above the line, okay? Now, I won't get specific with, you know, who's like the bottom of the barrel, but here's some things I'm going to, here's some warning signs I'm going to tell you to look out for. Number one, if someone's trying to be the cheapest warranty company, they're offering you $35, $45, $55, $65 a month plans, and or they want you to pay five years in advance, run. Don't do it. Please don't do it. You will quickly find out there's a reason that they're so cheap. There's a reason they're trying to get you on a five-year deal. And you got to do a little research to, to, to really dig into that. Um, second thing, <sighs> if you've had any work done by them and the technician that comes out to your home is not professional, doesn't have a uniform, doesn't call ahead. You know, it doesn't do the things that you expect on a service call. You may want to look back at, at who they're allowing in their network. Because there may not be the, the quality standards that, um, that you deserve. And so now I want to talk about keys to selecting a great warranty company. Number one, read your contract. There's a lot of information in there. The person on the phone is going to tell you, oh, yeah, A, B, C, D, E, oh, yeah, oh, man. Whatever you ask, they're going to say, oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'll take care of that. Oh, can I get a technician the same day? Oh, oh, yes, ma'am, absolutely. Don't believe it, okay? Read the contract. Your next, your next, uh, your next words to them should be, Oh, that sounds great. But can you please uh, email that over to me, uh, the, your contract, so I can review it? And then actually review it. Find out what the service level agreements are. Sign up, find out what you can expect. Because I can promise you, that first service call you put in, and you say, oh, my fridge is not cooling properly. I need somebody out here today. I'm going to lose my food. Oh, ma'am, uh, I know it's Monday, but we can get somebody out there in two weeks. Well, what do you mean two weeks? You told me that I can have somebody here today. Well, if you look at your contract on page 42, section A34B, you will see that it's at our discretion to send somebody out there whenever we want to. I mean, you know, something like that. So please uh, read your contract. Know what you're signing. Know what you're signing up for. And if the terms don't work, then look at other companies and other options. 
because at the time that you need a service call, you have no leverage. You've already signed off on it. In fact, you know, it wasn't read. Not, the warranty company is not going to take that. Uh, number two, get reviews from trusted sources. So, for instance, we have the Oldham County Grapevine on Facebook. I would feel confident going there and saying, hey, um, I'm looking at some warranty companies and, you know, I'm looking at these two or I, I don't know. Uh, what do you recommend? What has been your experience? Or next door. OK. Real people in your area that are using this service. Don't go out to Google and look at all these paid advertisements for these home warranty companies because you're going to see all this stuff of how great they are, how great they are. And then when it comes to you, you you're not going to get that same experience and you're going to wonder why. Um, we talked about the long-term contract. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Please don't do it. Uh, now here's one that I really gave a lot of thought to. There are a few companies out there. One that I know specifically is called, I'm probably saying it wrong, Achosta, A-C-H-O-S-T-A. I've done a couple of jobs for them, and I really like their model. So they allow you to get your own technician. And um, so let's say, I don't got the refrigerator. Say your dishwasher stops draining, right? You got a Boss dishwasher, think it's nice. You, know, you pay $1,200 for it. Oh, you love it. It stops, it stops doing something. So let's say it stops draining. They will allow you to call, you know, do your research, find a company. You're like, oh, man, all right, appliance professionals, okay, these guys right here, oh, phew. Lamar, oh, yeah, I, okay. So you tell them, like, yeah, I want Lamar to come out. They're like, okay, we'll call Lamar when he comes out, have him, you know, write up the report, blah, 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 submit it to us, and, you know, we'll, we'll pay him uh, the day he, uh, pretty much when he's done with the job. Like, we call from your home, and um, they put me on the phone and say, hey, you know, do you finish? Oh, yes, sir, I finished, here's what it was. And they talk to you. Oh, did he finish? You know, are you happy with the service? You're like, oh yeah, I'm very happy with it. Then they release the funds. So that holds account. That, that's like accountability all the way around, right? I'm not going to leave your home and leave you with the product that's not working properly. You know, get my money and never come back. Um, you're going to be confident because you had a you had a say in the process and was able to uh, choose the a provider that you felt would provide you the great the, the greatest value. Um, yeah, I really I really I really like that model. I really do. Um, but just know you have options. Um, yeah, you have options. So the other thing is, and it's mainly applied to refrigerators, right? Get a company that can do it all. When I say do it all. Understand on the refrigerators, there's two part. There's two parts of the system. Actually, there's three parts of the system, really. So, you have electrical, you have the mechanical, and you have uh, the seal system. Okay. So a seal system on a refrigerator is like a uh, it's like a seal system on your car. I like to use things people understand. So on your car, if you see your neighbor outside every day in the middle of the summer, adding refrigerant to his you know, to his vehicle to get it to cool, it's no different than a refrigerator, right? That thing is sealed. You should not, you should not have to uh, mess with it. it. It should go around, keep doing the same thing it's supposed to be doing, not have leaks uh, for the life of that vehicle. So refrigerator the same way. That seal system, that refrigerant flowing through the veins of that refrigerator should just happen, okay? Other things may go wrong, the fan... Um, you know, the front panel may go out, but that, that seal system should work. So what you're going to have is you have some companies that say, hey, I, I, I don't want to learn how to change our compressors. I don't want to do seal system repairs. I don't even want to understand the theory. Hey, that's not me. I know how to do all that, okay? So you call company A out there, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, first of all, it's been three days since I get to you, since I, I was able to get to you. And, oh man, your refrigerator, I think it's a sealed system. And you're like, okay, uh, what does it take to fix that? Yeah, 
you know, we don't work on seal systems. So you probably got to call appliance professionals in order to do that, right? So then you call me. Oh, another provider came out, said it was a seal system. They don't work on that. Do you work on it? Oh, absolutely. I work on seal systems, you know. But now I have to come out there and I have to die. I can't diagnose from somebody telling me it's a seal system. Because first of all, if you don't know how to do seal systems, I'm kind of weary that you actually know it's a seal systems issue. So I have to start from step one, right? So I got to go over everything that this person went over to get back to the conclusion of whether it's a seal system or not, um, which all takes time. Um, puts you back X amount of days to getting your thing fixed because then we have to submit it to the warranty company. Then we got to wait for them to come back. So that's one of those things, you know. Ask the question. If whether they get your own person or not. Ask the warranty company, hey, this provider you're sending me, can they do it all? Can they solve my whole problem? You know, are they going to be in the middle of the job asking for somebody else to come out? So that's my recommendation to you there. I personally think warranty companies are a good deal for catastrophic coverage. You know, if you have that $3,000 plus built in fridge and that thing goes out, and you have to go get a new one. Because, you know, the manufacturer's warranty is usually going to give you a year. And you have to go get a new one? That's a huge expense at one time. I know because when I moved to Crestwood, I did not read my contract close enough. I walk in the house on closing day and the refrigerator's gone. I'm like, um, excuse me, there's a refrigerator supposed to be up in here. And the realtor looks at me and says, that wasn't in the contract. So I'm like, okay, well, I need to get a fridge. Man, I went to Best Buy and my wife loves this fridge. $3,000. I was like, that, and that was before tax. Woo! Just say that hurt, because you know you have expenses when you move into the house anyway. Then you got a three thousand dollars on top of that for a fridge. So yeah, I'm real sensitive to stuff like that. So I do believe, from a catastrophic coverage standpoint, yeah, all day long, um, I would have a home warranty. But at the same time, I don't want to have the false sense of security. And then the first time I put a claim in, um, you know, I'm not getting the level of service um, or the level of, um, well, I'll say the level of service or the compensation I deserve if for some reason, you know, it can't be fixed. That's important too. You know, if this thing can't be, because sometimes you have older fridges where you can't even get parts for it or, you know, whatever appliance it is, they just don't make it anymore. It's in LA, no longer available. So you need to know up front, okay, what happens when this happens? And oh, by the way, oh yeah, this is one that's bitten people. What percentage do you give me as compensation? Or what features or what level um, of, a, of a replacement unit do I get? Let me explain further. So, and I'm telling you this because it happened. So let's say you have a front load LG washer sitting on a pedestal. It dies, okay? At Best Buy or Lowe's or Home Depot, this thing is 900, 1200 new. Warranty company says, oh yeah, we're gonna replace it. Oh man, thank you, oh, you're so great. You, you, you uh, honored the contract. Guy shows up within a manor top load washer that costs like 250 on a good day. You know what I mean? So you're like, well, wait a minute. This is not comparable to what I had. Well, sorry, you know, your contract said we'll give you a replacement unit. It didn't, you know. And it may have said with like features, but then there's that little writing that says, you know, but we're going to take into account how old the unit is and what the depreciated value is. So things like that, they make a difference. And you want to think about that before you get to that point. Um, see, other than that, I don't think there's any big things, um, that I haven't covered, but hopefully it like gets your mind going. It helps you think through, um, one that you have, uh, whether you would want to get one in the future, 
uh, whether you uh, want to look around whenever your uh, renewal period comes. But, you know, if you have any specific questions, <clears throat> just message me. Uh, we have a chat bot feature on our website, www.appliancepro2u.com, um, that you can uh, just hit me up in the chat box. Like that. that comes to my cell phone. Um, or you can, you can even send a text message. To, our, our main number takes text messages, just so you know. So 502-233-3088 or call the main number. Um, but, yeah, I'm always here to help. Like I said, I'm passionate about this. I'm, I'm always uh, just trying to find ways to, to make this better. Wait, I do have one last thing. <clears throat> now you, had to message, you, had to, you had to message me, you know, I can't put this out on public forum. But there is a company in the Louisville market, Oldham County, Louisville market, oh, in the state, basically, that I promise you, they sent me out on a few warranty calls, and they never pay for repair. Surprising, they never pay for repair. Like blatant. It's like, hey, the wash pump is dead on this thing. You know, the repair was like under 300 bucks with parts and labor. They went back to the customer and said, hey. Now, now mind you, the customer already paid $65 on a service call fee. They went back to the customer and said, hey, um, you got to pay for repair. You got you to pay for repair out of your own pocket. Like all of it. And so I'm like, why would I have a warranty that I'm paying you every month? I pay the service call fee to, to the technician. And then we did the authorization request. First of all, you called me three times saying you never received it after I got an email that says, hey, thank you for submitting it. Uh, we'll review it within blah, blah, blah. So I'm, I'm constantly submitting it. And then when it comes time to make a decision, um, you're putting the cost onto the customer. Hmm. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe that's a fluke. Well, it kept happening. So now we won't do any jobs for this company because it looks bad on me, right? I'm going out there in good faith and I'm telling you, I'm like, yeah, look, this is something simple. Like companies cover this all day long. So I'm writing it up. I'm submitting it. Okay. You call me. Hey, Lamar, um, the warranty company said he never received it. What do you mean? I just submit. So I'm going back. Now I'm CCing you on it. Okay. Here's a report. Then I'm sending you the email confirmation that came from them. Then you call me another day, you know, the next day. Hey, can you help me? I, mean, I talked to the warranty company. I saw you CC me, but they said they never got it. You know, so then we're back on the phone with them. We're on a three-way conversation. It's like all this work. And then for just to come back and say, yeah, we're not really covering any of it. Um, you know, we were hoping you gave up at step one, but we see you're resilient. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and tell you we're not going to cover it. You know, so that's the kind of stuff that I want people to avoid. Um, that, that looks bad on everybody involved in it. And I just don't believe that's the way, that's the way, uh, you do business. Uh, so hopefully this helps. And look, if you want to have a conversation with me about it, I can go, I can go in depth more. I, I look, I'll, I'll give you the T on this, um, of who's doing it. And, um, once again, I'm just out here to help. I'm just out here to help. Okay. Hey, hope you have a great day. That's my, uh, rant and <laughs> raving about home warranty.